So after what we learned from the previous video on this section, we have an exercise to solve. That is, the first question says, why are sex-linked genes expressed differently in different cells of a female? Well, let's go ahead and look at option A. Different cells inherit from different genes. No. So, let's move on to option number C, directly skipping B. Males have no functioning X chromosome after it's inactivated. That is false. D. Sex lean genes are expressed differently in males than in females. Well, both of them are exactly same. So, option B is the correct answer. Moving on to question number two. How is an illegal for Huntington's disease passed on in the population if it's fatal with me, meaning it's a big error? So, if people aren't affected until they have children, right? So, the disease isn't carried until they have uh, the children. So, the people who, who are going to have hunk, uh, hunting tons disease should have children. So, it's not passed on by carriers, but it's option D that makes this question the true statement. So, option D is the correct answer. Moving on to the third question. What is the probability of two cystic fibrosis carries having a child with cystic fibrosis? Well, every time you make a Punnett square, if any, uh, if you do the Punnett square uh, next to you on the paper, you find out that there is no chance of you getting 50%. So C is not the correct answer. Though you might have a little bit of probability. So you might also eliminate A, which says 0%. But you cannot always have 100% probability. So you might also cancel out D. So the option that you canceled out are A, C and D. So the remaining option is B and B is the correct answer for question number three. Moving on to the fourth question. How are the X and Y chromosome different? Now we know that X chromosome is basically X sex chromosome in the, is in the female and Y sex chromosome are in the uh, male. And if you have uh, X, Y, it's a male. And if you have X and X, you have a female. Okay, so this is how they're different. Now, X carries out many genes that affect the traits, while Y carries few genes that are, ca could affect the trait. So, option B would be the reasonable answer that says the X chromosome have many genes that affect traits rather than Y chromosome having more genes, which is a false statement. Moving on to our last question, which says, which is true about sex linked traits? Now, you see, sex linked traits are basically not all recessive, not all dominant, not, they don't, even though they have more common in females, they also have common in males. So, though there is high percentage of them, sex-linked traits are there in more common in males. So, option B would be the correct answer. Though, if you look at option C and D, it's irrelevant because males are made up of X and Y. So, it's it's not involving any recessive nor dominant, so it's irrelevant. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I want you guys to share it, like, comment, and subscribe to this video. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you for watching again.